Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area of a kite. A kite looks like this. And if we have one side that's say 5, one diagonal, and another diagonal that's say 2, we can work out the area of this kite. We simply use the formula. The formula for the area of a kite is x, y over 2, where x and y represent these two lines. You can also write this formula, a lot of people write it d1, d2 over 2, where the d's represent the diagonals, so diagonal 1 over di and diagonal 2 over 2. Doesn't matter which way you write it, they do the same thing. So, we'll work out this example. So, if we have 2 and 5, we substitute our values in. So, we would have 2 and 5 over 2. So, we times together our 2 and our 5 to give us 10 over 2. And then, we simplify 10 over 2 to 5 and then whatever units you're measuring in squared. So for this example our answer would be 5 units squared. We'll look at one more example just to make sure you know this. This time let's say this side is 5 and this side is 7. Actually let's say this side is 6. So then, we would have 5 and 6 once we substitute in x and y straight into here. And these are being multiplied by each other because they're being times, there's like a hidden time symbol in there. And then we have this over 2. So 6 times 5 is 30, so we have 30 divided by 2. And 30 divided by 2 is 15. So we, our answer is 15 units. Whatever units you're in, you know, centimeters, feet, meters, whatever. Squared, because it's area. So our answer would be 15 units squared. And that's how you find the area of a kite. I really hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like. And please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have any questions or anything to say, just put them in the comments. And I hope to see you next time.